Hi everyone, welcome to The Knit Shift, episode 82. My name is Lara, and this is Gracie, who is doing what Josh and I call her Gracie glance. She really likes to come out on our back porch here and look at whoever's coming and going on our street. Oh, hi Grace. Say hi everyone. It's a beautiful day. It's about 60 degrees, so I thought I would bring you guys outside with me today and do a little episode outdoors. So hello, welcome to The Knit Shift. Again, my name is Lara, if this is your first visit. Normally we are indoors for this, but uh, since it's such a beautiful day, I decided to record outside. I live on the back side of a building that's on a very busy street, so there is a bit of road noise, and hopefully it won't be too intrusive and bothersome to you. I don't really notice the noise now that I've lived here for a decade, but when I do come outside, I guess it is pretty noticeable, so we'll see how this goes. This won't be a very long episode, so even if it bothers you, hopefully it uh, at least it's a short episode. So again, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my podcast, whether it's your first time to The Knit Shift or you and I have been hanging out for some time. Show notes can be found at theknitshift.com. This episode is available on iTunes and YouTube, and I'd love it if you subscribed in either location. Um, there is a knit shift group on Ravelry. Please do join us. We have a knit along going on that started just a few days ago. I am on Instagram as Laura Mahalski and I am on Ravelry as Yarnstormer and please do friend me or follow me on both social media platforms. Um, I think that's it for administrative stuff. I can tell you guys about our current knit along that just started. It's the Love Yourself Cow. It's a chance to make something nice for yourself. You know, the holidays just happened and whether you did holiday gift knitting or not, um, it's February. Valentine's Day is coming up. Why not knit yourself something nice? So that's that's the general idea of this knit along. We do have a chatter thread and an FO thread over on Ravelry in the Knit Shift group. So please do join. You have to be a member of the group to participate. I will have a prize for chatter thread. I'll have a prize for the FO thread. There's no end date yet. Probably the end of March or April. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's pretty pretty loose loose and fancy free. The only real rules are that you have to start a project new, no whips are allowed from before February 1st, and you have to use at least, use at least 50 grams of yarn. So I will show you what I started for this knit along. That's my first whip of the week. Unfortunately, I don't have any FOs, um, just wasn't going to happen. I'm in that phase where I feel like so many of my projects are never going to end, so <laughs> FOs feel very far away. So I'm knitting Hello Hello, which is a shawl by Kirsten Kapoor. I will show you the pattern. Well, I'll, I won't show you the pattern. I'll show you a photo on the pattern. You know what I mean. It's a two-color shawl, and it starts with uh, stockinette eyelet rows. Then it moves into stripes and then it moves into plain garter. Hopefully that can, you guys can see that okay. I'm using my phone today as opposed to my regular camera. The shawl calls for about 560 yards each of two colors of fingering weight yarn. I decided to use an extra big, uh, extra big skein of yarn, so I'm hoping my shawl can be quite bigger. So the yarns that I'm using are Yarn Carnival, and I don't recall the base, but it is a merino nylon. And it's this beautiful navy blue that almost tilts into purple. And the colorway is London 1865. And this is an 840 some yard skein. I picked this up at a trunk show that Yarn Carnival was doing at West 7th Wool in Fort Worth, Texas and I really think this is pretty. The yarn, it's definitely a merino nylon. Um, it's really thin. It's practically a lace weight in my opinion. So, um, and it is a little splitty, so it's not my favorite to work with right now, but using this is my motivation to get to my other colorway and prepare yourself because this is really bright green. This is Hedgehog Fiber Sock. This is two skeins of it in a potluck colorway, which means it's a one of a kind. It's this lovely mint green and there are pops of purple in it, just little flecks here and there. Hopefully they're showing up. 
and there's some brown flecks as well. So I'm using the blue. I'm using the blue for this very first section and then I'll begin striping it with the green and then I'll finish with the green. So without further ado, here is my shawl. I am about five repeats into the first section. Um, the pattern calls for 16. So here's where I am. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's stockinette, you know, you start in a corner and then there are eyelet repeats. And I'm really loving how this is working up. I'm using a size five needle, which I'm really enjoying the fabric it's making. It's gonna be a nice lacy shawl. Boy, it's really pretty in the daylight. I haven't looked at it much, you know, it's usually indoor lighting where it's hard to, to see this kind of yarn, but it's really glowing outside. So I'm really quite pleased with it. So just getting started. I'm, I don't think, I'm already doubting my ability to finish this in two months, but we'll see. And I'm keeping this in a Nico Zuki Knits project bag. And I have three skeins of sock yarn in here caked up and it's basically the perfect size for such a project. My next work in progress to share with you is a baby sweater I am still plowing away at. Plowing away? Maybe it's plowing away, I can't think of the word. I am knitting this for my niece, who is due in about six, six weeks? Yeah, six weeks, she'll be here hopefully. Um, so I need to finish this, I've got a little time. I'm gonna bring this to the, um, to hopefully the hospital when I meet her. My goal is to get there right around the time she's born or soon after, um, you know, I'll bring it when I meet her. Basically that's the goal, whether it's at home or at a hospital. So last week I had just about finished the body of this sweater um, and I have since knit a sleeve and I am about two rows from binding off on the sleeve. So, this is the, I'll, I'll pull up the name of the pattern every, every week, I can't remember it because it's four words and I always get them in the wrong order. So here is this sweet little cardigan. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty, you guys. This yarn is just scrumptious. This is Hedgehog Fibers Twist in the Candy Floss colorway. And it's just the perfect spring little cardigan for a newborn. I'm using size one and size two needles, um, size two for the body and size one for the garter edging here. And I have really sweet little white buttons to go with it. So who knows, maybe I'll work on this this afternoon and uh, try and finish this first sleeve. I mean, I am on the cuff. I have, I'm on the ribbing or I'm on the garter stitch edging. So I really could finish this sleeve in about five minutes time. And here's how much left I have of the cake. So I've got plenty for the sleeve at the second sleeve. And I just, I really love this yarn. This was the perfect, perfect baby knit. And I'm carrying this in a project bag that my mom made me. It is yellow and it has flannel on the bottom with pineapples. And I've mentioned before that pineapple has kind of been a theme of my sister-in-law's pregnancy. So um, I thought this was a perfect project bag to carry this in. That's really it for my works in progress. I did work a little bit on a pair of socks this week, but really not enough to show much progress for you. It's been a really busy week around here. I worked six days this week. I worked last night. Normally I'm off on Sundays, but uh, someone was on vacation and they needed someone to work, so I pitched in. And so this is my only day off, so I, I selfishly wanted to just record a quick episode for you guys. I, I would have felt bad, I would have felt guilty if I didn't record. So um, I started physical therapy last week for my back injury and my foot injury. Not so much a foot, not so much a foot injury, but my foot is numb from, from the back injury. So I, uh, I had my evaluation for physical therapy. I'm going twice a week starting tomorrow. So I will uh, let, you guys, let you guys know how it goes. I'm really excited and I'm really motivated to get better. So um, that's keeping me busy twice a week here on out. And my birthday is on Saturday and I'm really excited about that. Anyway, I think that's it for me this week. So take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.